<laughs> hey, how you doing? It's Todd Ball here, IFBB Pro. This is the Fat Ballist Life. And episode number one, we want to start off with uh, positive motivational talk. Um, we're going to start with the first thing, which is positive energy. My wife and I carry a positive energy. Yes, we wake up early, we work 15 hour days, we're running gyms, we're doing clients, um, diets, we have kids, dog, family life, everything, marriage. Uh, but we wake up with positive energy and we approach it and we appreciate our life and we're grateful every day we wake up. So we're gonna carry that positive energy right into our episode, into our show. This is the stage of our show. Hopefully we'll get some guests later. This is my beautiful wife, hey. Kasha Ball. <laughs> Um, this is anyway. my beautiful husband. Yes. Uh, anyway, we're going to give you the quick stroke of the show. First episode is going to cover at home with Kasha inside Meal the preps. kitchen. Meal preps. Uh, next, we're going to go right into our client special. We're going to highlight a client every episode. This one's going to be Ben, special to my heart. And number three, my wife and I, obviously, in the interracial marriage. Um, so we have some interracial relationship deals that we deal with one of them very important fit mamas so we're going to be working out with the fit mamas we caught some good things my wife did a challenge with them and we caught 66 a, ladies with us 66 this ladies time. and we caught a good workout with them last but not least there's going to be our personal meditation zone you'll be able to come in to my wife and i zone when we work out let me say that again me wife and rangers zone <laughs> uh, right. It's the most important, okay? <laughs> when we work out, so um, we just want you to have fun. There's going to be some motivational talks. We're going to give you something that you can go home with as far as work out. We're going to answer some of your questions. Some of you guys want to know something. We just want you to enjoy the show. We want you to learn. We want you to help. The basis of our show, happiness, nutrition, love, fitness. There'll be some sad moments. We want you to cry with us. We want you to laugh with us. We want you to sing with us. And just come on and join us. Hey, Minju. So our family is always on the go. Um, we spend around 12, I would say, to 14 hours at the gym. Um, so I don't have time for complex meals. And I don't want to spend a lot of money and, you know, stuff like that just for the food. And just a quick note um, about both of us. Uh, we both eat a little different. Uh, Tad uh, eats Tadeusz. <laughs> he eats the turkey, chicken, fish, steak and stuff like that. Um, my diet is plant-based, um, so I eat eggs, I eat fish, but I do not eat any meat. I love Trader Joe. <laughs> That's my favorite store where I usually send all my clients. And this is where I get most of my stuff, because um, it's affordable. Uh, it's a small store, you can find what you need really quick. Today we have a turkey taco ball. So we're going to use ground turkey. You're going to have two options. Um, so I'm going to use um, garbanzo beans to put instead, instead of the meat um, for the meal. So are you ready? Um, so we'll let the pan warm up a little bit. Mm, just a little bit of olive, olive oil spray. Uh, so I'm ground the turkey. I like to do more than one thing at a time. So we're actually going to start our rice with flour. We're multitasking yeah, in the cottage kitchen. At its finest. No time to waste. And we have that rice cauliflower. Um, so, I, so I like to leave it out a little bit, uh, out from the fridge, um, so it's just quicker to cook. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. No time to waste. So as, as you can see, it's already chopped and ready for us to use it. So why do you do the rice cauliflower? Um, because for the my plant-based meal, um, I use the garbanzo beans, which have a little bit more carbs. Um, so usually per meal, you want to have 20 to 30 grams of carbs. Um, so just to not to add more carbs to the meal, we're not going to use the brown rice. We're just going to use the rice cauliflower. Hey, there's my favorite saying, we're trying for carbs over here. So we're just browning out that turkey. Usually my meals take, um, maybe with the preparation, around 30 minutes. Um, and the meals don't cost more than five bucks. Which I don't think you can get McDonald's meal for five dollars. <laughs> so healthy is good for you. I like to add for the uh, rice cauliflower, just a little bit of the cilantro. 
just to give it a little color and a little bit more taste. So if you see that the turkey is getting a little dry because this is just the breast, um, I will add a little bit more of the olive oil spray. So we're going to add a little bit do. of... This yeah, this is what is this going on in my kitchen. And then I scream, get out of here, Tad! <laughs> So we just add a little bit of the sea salt and the pepper. So we're almost done with the turkey. It's just maybe two more minutes. So about how long will this meal take in total? Um, so it takes around 20 minutes. Usually like to early on chop up the spinach and chop up this lunch off. So our rice, is the cauliflower rice is almost ready. Just still working on the turkey. Maybe like 30 more seconds. The next step with it, we're just gonna add a little bit of water. And we're gonna lower the heat. And Trader Joe taco seasoning uh, just be careful with this one. You do not put the whole back. It's just a little bit. We that's learned a whole lot of sodium. That's a lot of sodium and it's very spicy. How will you know when it's done? Um, so it gets, um, so it absorbs the water, and um, because we brown, uh, we, uh, we browned it before, it's already ready. It's just for the taste right now. So the rice looks ready too. So we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna start working on our garbanzo beans. You gotta drain them out of the juices that are in. So again, we're gonna use the olive oil spray. Just a little bit coat the pan. We can add a little bit more of the cilantro. Mm, the yeah, I know. Seasoning. Doesn't it smell good? Yes. <laughs> My favorite. So just we added a little bit more cilantro to the meal. This is warm, um, so I'm gonna add the garbanzo beans. Just soak them for a little bit. And again, I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's sack of seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have two options over here. So there is the meat option for your protein, and there is the plant-based option for your proteins too. Um, your proteins, um, they can come up from meat or they can be a plant-based, um, you have choices. I always should say to our um, customers that um, you can replace some of the meals. You can have one meat and try the plant-based, open up a little bit more of your horizons for that kind There's of There's a food. stigma, yeah. a lot of people think you can't, you can't get your protein mm, if you don't no, have your meat. I mean, Check this out. <laughs> yes, you can. So our turkey is almost done. I will add a little bit more of the seasoning. Tadosh, come taste it. <laughs> Hold on, it might be a little bit high. Man, you ready? <laughs> yeah? Yep. Okay, it's going to be five dollars. <laughs> what you think, Mr. Ball? <laughs> so the garbanzo beans are done too. So honestly, this is done. And I don't know if maybe it's been even seven minutes, right? So quick, easy, inexpensive, but good and healthy for you. Uh, so I'm gonna get our meal preps going. Uh, so I like to use uh, the glass containers because they're easy to wash. Uh, you just grab them and go. And they actually look pretty cute too, okay? <laughs> um, so I made earlier on some brown rice. Um, so for the Tad's meal, uh, we're just going to use around one cup. And we're going to add the turkey. So we usually do uh, around six to eight ounces for him. Um, so it equals out to about a cup too. Right, so those are his proteins. We're going to add some green veggies, which we have some spinach. So we're just going to put it on top. And we're going to add some of the pico de gallo. Just um, one tablespoon is fine, just for the taste. And um, now my secret is about to come out. Because <laughs> I've been using this almond cheese. 
for my husband. Hey, Tad. <laughs> but it's, it's better for you. It's really, it's really low on carbs. And I like to use, there's not the seasoning that you can find on Amazon. And also it's a dual, it's paleo powder. Um, so it's vegan, it's gluten free, all that stuff. It doesn't have any crazy added stuff. I always say, if you can't pronounce the ingredients, you don't know what it is, why would you put it inside your body? That's just my thing. Sprinkle just a little bit of it on top, just to give it a little kick. I will let it just cool off uh, for maybe five minutes. Then you just pack it up. There's also a saying, if you prepared, you are not tempted I mean, or... French or your husband can <laughs> or have Or let's now. take it. <laughs> What's the verdict? Mmm. So good. Twice, maybe three times a day I get this. Lucky man. Mm. Lucky you. Well, it's my turn for my meal. Um, so go use the rice cauliflower. Okay, I'm gonna add our protein, which are the garbanzo beans. So now we're gonna add the toppings, which is the almond cheese. Just a little bit. And we're gonna add some spinach. I really like the cilantro, so we're gonna throw a little bit of it in it too. So those are our green veggies. And on top, I'm going to put that pico de gallo. And boom, check it out. It's ready, isn't it beautiful? Yes. So gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Thank you. So we're going to pack it up and it's ready for me in the kitchen. I mean, in the fridge. The fridge is in the kitchen, so <laughs> the you weren't lying. The fridge is in the kitchen. Um, so this is what I always say this. When you are prepared, you are not tempted. Uh, to drive to McDonald's, to drive to Taco Bell, to grab some bag of chips and stuff like that. I always have it ready in the fridge. Um, I eat it at the gym, uh, I warm it up at the gym and uh, gives me the, the energy throughout the day. It keeps me going throughout the classes with the clients and all that good stuff. What you doing all that? Oh, just, you know, sometimes behind the scenes. Got, sometimes you got to record greatness and his glory so I can go back and look at this greatness. And... All right, that wasn't so bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Mm. Man, that was delicious. You know I like to eat. I also like to pay bills. I want to thank our sponsors, Team Total. Total Marketing, go to www.teamtotal.com. And they brought this next segment to you, which is me and my guy Ben working out close to my heart. Thank you. Hey, say hello, Ben, say hello. <laughs> ben had came in and at first his sister came in for a party and I had put my arm around Ben and his mom kind of stood there and I didn't know at first, uh, but he has kind of a sensitivity to touch. But Ben allowed me to talk to him a little bit. So his mom came to me a little later and was like, hey, do you think I was thinking of getting some movement. I need him to get some kind of physical fitness and he liked you and he stood and he didn't move. Do you think you could try? Now, don't get me wrong. I am not a trainer of autistic kids. I'm not a specialist. This was basically, I feel like physical fitness is used for everybody. The endorphins of sweat makes me happy and that's for everybody. First time me and Ben came, of course we had to find a little rhythm. He didn't like the music I was playing. We gotta turn on our ACDC radio because we can only work out to some rock. Um, there was a few things, but you find the rhythm that he likes. He likes hard rock. Found out as soon as I turned that on, the kid wanted to work out hard. Um, I really realized he wanted to do stuff that he saw his sister do, that he saw adults do. So what I tried to do is find it within his world. Obviously, the karaoke and the high knees aren't the same, but in his world, he's doing karaoke and high knees. He's still getting the motor skills. He's still sweating. We push the sled, which again, I think I said this throughout the video. I, I'm not a big fan, but he loves it. He just loves being able to have the music going like we all do, right? Who, who doesn't love just having the music going? You got the gym to, your swell, to yourself. There's a sweat. Um, he gets really into it. We, you might see in the video, we do a lot of hand-eye coordination stuff. I set up ladders, I set up obstacles. This is all to get his mind working also at the same time that he's working out. So he can use it in life, right? We all need balance. It snows, the kid walks outside. Parents have told me his balance has improved. There's been days where he's had a rough day. It's not always 
roses and flowers and a fun, good time of working out. Sometimes he'll come in here and he's had a bad day at school, but his dad and his mom always tell me after a long day, he comes in here, he sweats it out, he goes home and he feels a lot better. So for you parents out there that you might maybe struggling with your kid having autism or being on the spectrum, make sure you do not downgrade the factor of working out and sweat and keeping them in shape with mouths. You should work out like me. Done deal. Ty Ball here. Thank you. The Fat Ball is life. Say bye, Ben. Bye. Ah, perfect.
15 to 20 ladies, but if you pan out right now, I believe we're at 40 ladies right now. So, so the first three ladies that started in the fifth are here. I'll introduce you. One of our first, one of our first fit mamas. get to know the balls um, we're gonna send out if you want to know something about us you can send it to any of our social yeah, media we'll platforms answer. and we'll answer your questions so we already asked a few questions out to people and we have two already so we're just gonna start off with those questions right away um, I'll let my wife go first so the first one is how we met um, so I came over here as au pair and actually I was February 1st uh, we went to a bowling alley and I was just looking for the bathroom and I asked this guy standing in the corner of the bowling alley uh, inside, uh, where's the bathroom? And that's how we started. So that, I called that, him Toad for like six months. And he responded. Her, so. That's her version that, that she was trying to look I for the bathroom. For but the ba I was not She saw the sexiness I, and wanted to come say hello. Uh, so I was actually with my best friend. The, the no, funny part is, we were supposed to go see a movie. That movie ended up, um, and, and I'm mad that I don't even know what movie it was. We mm. always try to argue. Uh, but the movie ended up being sold out, so my guy and I were like, hey, we're just gonna go to the bowling alley. She was with a group of her buddies, and the rest was history. It's funny, the first date, I tried calling, and on the phone, I'm like, look, I can't understand your accent. <laughs> we're just gonna meet in person, so because bad. you kept calling me Toad, and I was just like, I can read your lips at least So guess person. what, our first date was in uh, was in Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble. Geeks reunited. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should come up with something different. We were hang gliding or something. <laughs> Alright, so that's how we met. I know some not, nothing special for us. So it's been 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 years. years. this show if you don't leave with anything you leave with at least one thing you can do at home or one thing you can learn from we're gonna start off every episode when we do our workouts together Did you, you leave with at least yeah, one thing that we do together <laughs> so uh, today we're just gonna start off with a basic squat this is something that again you might be able to do a different variation with your trainer uh, but at home so just going to squat up and down for me uh, so there's three points we're looking at here knees cannot go past the toes so when you look yeah, down any of this don't go forward first. Your first motion is, butt goes out, and you want to sit in the chair. Two, 
you want to come low enough to where your legs are sitting in a chair parallel where you can get a straight line. And then three, what you look for is sitting in a chair, shoulders not looking down, but posture up. Don't curve your back. Once again, do this one, because this is the one that most people do, curve your back. Like, this is what people do wrong most of the time. If you pick your shoulders up, like you're sitting back, and then down and up. There, folks, is a perfect squat. Everybody, every time we give something basic, they go, well, how many sets do I do? What do I do? Look, something basic, four sets of 15 is what we kind of throw out there, but you'll kind of adjust based off of your goals and your trainer. You can do the pulses, you can do the jumps in between. Shake it up a little Shake bit. It up. Shake it up. Just a little bit of dessert at the end. Uh, one of one's favorite fitness moments. Um, actually, for me, I, to be honest, I will say when my wife became a trainer uh, oh, yeah? was, yeah, because for maybe oh, 14 years of training, I would come home and try to explain to her what was going on, but there was like, oh, okay, yeah. Um, and then she became a trainer. And no, I remember when I would go to the gym that I used to work at, because I didn't grow up with fitness. Uh, so I would walk in, I'd be like, what are these people doing? What is this for? So it was just a um, so change, big change. Not only life. that, but she started with not knowing what working out was. And then after a year of us working out together, mm -hmm. I was training her. She might not have known this, but grooming her to become a trainer. What? And then it started to become. Look at, I, I, look at this business plan. I noticed. Some, <laughs> well, you noticed something special, and noticed she had a knack for the training. So that was a special moment for me because when we opened the gym, the first thing I said was, "Hey, you should invite your Polish ladies to come work out." No, no, no. I don't think you yeah. know they're not they're exactly. not open to something new. I'm like, they will be if you do it. Yeah. And sure yeah, enough, here we are, so true, yeah. uh, three years later with a big Polish following. So yes. that's my favorite fitness moment. My fit moments. Oh, well, I love you. That wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe some sort of outro, just like a uh, closing. Yep. Um, man. Well, I, I, I want to say um, that this is going to be fun. Yeah. This looks like a lot of fun, and I hope people will learn and they see what is the gym about and what our community is about, and that we are family gym. That was always our goal to have the kids and to have the adults um, together and we get to do what we love and share it with you so yeah i don't even know if i what, what else yeah, i can say that's a wrap